Welcome to today's mandala reading. We're going to do something a little different today. This is the last sealed package of the Journey with Nicole mandala cards. And um, I've been using, obviously, if you've been watching my channel, I've been using my deck that I've had for five years and it was getting really worn and warped and I sold a majority of my decks about two years ago at a show. And I knew that I had, I've, I've given a couple away in the last year, but I um, knew I had one deck left. So I'm going to open it actually. I noticed a lot of people uh, do like open deck, inform, you know, videos and stuff. So I'm just gonna open it up and we're just gonna kind of look through the whole deck and you can get an idea what it looks like. I just want, want you to see. Ah, I should have brought scissors. There we go. Journey with Nicole. This deck was created by me, of course. And I um, created this this was my first true art project that I did. Create I actually created a hundred mandalas, but I took my 44 favorite ones, and these are blank cards that always come with it. You can have uh, you know different. I like I like the this is my favorite mandala, so that's why I had the extras like that. But anyway, and then it's got a little uh description of of you know the energy behind it so and then we've got all these so i'm just going to go ahead and um do each one and i'll read it and then i you can see it so here's freedom freedom there is freedom in living the life that you were meant to live whatever it takes to feel that freedom make a step in that direction we were not meant to be bound to our jobs or our city. We were meant to live life in the fullest by embracing the challenges with the achievements, being free to explore, feeling freedom. So this was kind of, um, <laughs> what's different I guess about this uh, reveal of a deck is I can tell you the energy behind it because most people that reveal Oracle decks are opening for someone else was the artist. Well, I'm the artist, so I know what was behind it. And since I'm from Seattle, uh, I wanted to do something with kind of Seahawk colors. So, um, and freedom for me was, you know, I lived in Seattle for 38 years and now I'm, after 38 years, I ventured off and have been exploring ever since. So. This kind of relates a lot to freedom and, but with the home base of Seattle and, you know, I don't need to tell you the meanings behind each one. You just want to see the pretty colors, right? So, and then there's Blossom. Higher Self. I'm going to try to get this down so there's not such a glare. There we go. Higher self. Art. For all you artists. Got the happiness card. Abundance. Accepting. Of course, the pretty, these were, <laughs> let's see here. Here we go, Journey. There it is, Journey. That's my favorite one. That's all like in the raw, like <laughs> you can, if you look really close, you can see all the flaws. So that's okay. I'm okay with that. Action, action, action. Allowing. Be you. 
This is one of my most popular prints that I sell. Oh, by the way, I sell, all of these are available on an eight and a half by 11 print uh, for $10. And it's $2.75 for the envelope to send it in. And um, it's usually about three days before I get it out because I print it on demand. So with my own awesome printing system, so high, very high quality and so it's all done in-house and uh, I've done a couple art shows and sold some so I just a couple I only I've only sold one original so um, that card and uh, decoration isn't really in oh I didn't talk about this one isn't in the in this deck so you won't see it it's an original so that owner has the original and I've never reproduced any of it so this is celebrate. So it's all about celebrating. Clarity, clarity. That's one of my favorite ones. I spend approximately eight to 10 hours on each mandala. I used to call them mandalas. So if you hear me say it once in a while, um, I called them mandalas, but I've been corrected many times that it's a mandala, so mandala, so. <laughs> Anyway, um, connected. This one I had on a um, made on an eight or excuse me, uh, eleven by fourteen canvas, and that sold very quickly at my art show. Decisions. Lots of decisions to make. These are all done with oil pastels on paper. Fall. I like the quote on this, so I'm going to read the quote. Where, where cares will drop like the autumn leaves. John Muir, who's like, if you don't know who John Muir is, please go Google him. Please just Google John Muir and you will be so incredibly blessed to read what he had to say when he explored nature. Unconditional love. Follow your dreams. Forgiveness. This one has been coming up a lot in the last week or so in reading, so we might be reaching a, a certain point in our lives where we need to just let go and, and, and forgive and move on so we can keep going. Grounded. Always got to stay grounded. Health energy. This has been coming up a lot too. If you've been watching my channel and all the readings, this health energy keeps coming up. So it's obviously majorly in the collective and our spirit guides want us to know to keep our, keep our health in as best shape as possible. Imagination. I had someone purchase this in a larger print for their baby room. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cute. Inspiration. Beauty. This is about noticing the beauty in yourself and in others and having that connection. Lucky you, this has come up twice this week in readings, so lucky you. I like this mandala. This one is my favorite mandala. Of all hundred that I created, this one's my favorite. And ironically, it was my last. So uh, I was saving the best for last. I love this, the colors are so beautiful in its gratitude and that's how I try to live my life. I'm very grateful for every single thing. Even the challenges I'm grateful for. Motivation. Nature. We sure need to be sending out some wonderful positive vibes to nature right now. Nature's taking a big toll and West coast of North America right now. So we really, and the Southeast of North America. So 
We really need uh, all our loving energy sent to nature right now. Hugging lots of trees. Letting go. If you see this in any of your readings, this represents toxic, toxic relationship, toxic behavior, toxicity. That's what that is. So, propel. It's kind of fun to open a new deck like this. These are like all fresh and crisp. That was my last deck though. So, no more. I, I could order more, but it would sure, I made these five years ago, so it would be quite... Quite an ordeal. I'd have to have at least a hundred deck pre-order before I could do it, but um, maybe I'll make another deck. We'll see. Protection. I like this one. Protection. It's kind of like a protective shield guard. Rainbow. There's always rainbow. There's always a rainbow after a storm. Always. Always, always, always. Inner strength. This one's been coming up a lot lately too, so need to be real, real uh, conscious. You know, just be um, aware of our thoughts and and make sure that that's in alignment with being being strong within. You know, renewal. This is my second favorite. I love this one. I live in the Arizona, so of course it's got the beautiful. Beautiful Arizona type colors. Risk. Risk. It's kind of a crazy one. That was fun doing that one. Simplicity. Be soft. Success. This came up in today's reading. With the citrine right here. Sunshine. Vacation. Everybody likes getting that card in their reading, right? Wealth. Of course, everybody likes getting this one too, right? <laughs> Love. Meditation. And last but not least, peace. Well, I am so happy to have had you here with me for the opening of my final deck, Mandala deck that I created five years ago. Uh, it was a lot of fun creating this. I enjoyed it. It was a six month project and I have, cannot actually think of any other thing that I put so much heart and soul and energy into and I think that's why they're so beautiful to be honest that's why I love them so much but it is nice to have fresh new crisp ones I'm gonna do a little bit of shuffling here and then we're gonna get going on a pick a card reading so stay tuned and I will be right back Okay, I got the decks all ready, brought in the crystals to put on the cards. So you can pick pile number one, which is selenite, pile number two, rose quartz, pile number three, the Laramar. So we're just going to do three today because this is a new deck. It needs some time to breathe and we're not going to overload the deck any. We're just going to do some Nice, beautiful mandala readings for today. So let's go ahead and get going on pile number one. I do have my clarifier cards. I can't remember if I told you right here. So if we need to bring in the clarifying cards, we'll go ahead and put the selenite there. Okay, so what do we got first here? 
Letting go. Okay, do you remember how I said this represents toxicity? So there's, and this is the immediate past, if not right now. So there's a situation with a toxic relationship or a toxic work environment, toxic live environment, whatever. So this is letting us know right off the bat that this is what we're dealing with. So be you. I'm going to go ahead and read these in just a second. Be you. So the letting go, you're, you have to let this go because whatever your situation is, the relationship, work environment, live environment is not allowing you to express who you fully are. So that is kind of, you're kind of in stagnant mode until you can be, uh, get rid of all that toxic behavior. And it could be your own toxic behavior, but chances are it's, it's something else because in somebody else, because your the BU card came up and it, and that means that you, uh, uh, how, you're not able to be your true self. So we'll read those in just a second so you can get your own interpretation. Allowing. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and read these and that way you can, we'll start from the top three. Letting go. Just let go. Don't wait. If it has reached your awareness level to draw your attention to it by looking at this card, that means it is time to finally let it go. Enough is enough. When you decide to let go, you will open up space for something that is more in alignment with you. Okay? All right. So, and then be you. This mandala is all about you having fun being you. Embrace yourself. Be proud of yourself in all of your accomplishments, mostly for being you. It is such a free feeling being your true self and knowing that you can be you. It, lots of happy energy. These are the solar plexus uh, chakra, a little bit of heart chakra. So this is real happy. You're, it's not like there's a heaviness here, um, but it is something that you have to let go in order to have this. So allowing. When we allow everything to be as they are without our involvement or interruption, we let go of any resistance and allow blossoming to occur. There are seeds planted all around. If we care tenderly to their growth by appreciating and being grateful, blossoms flourish, flourish when we allow. So I think you're not going to be able to flourish at all and until the, you let this go. So... It is allowing the the universe to um, align with your vibe and your um, your intentions, but those things can't happen until you have all the blockages removed. And if you have a toxic card coming up as your first one, this is what it's telling you. As soon as you let this go, it is all free flowing here. You can be yourself. You can just allow the universe to guide you and you guys can, you and the universe can be all one in, in your journey. So let's see here. Love. Wow. This one actually doesn't come up very often at all. So put love in all you do say and think the more love you feel in your heart, the more to express and give. When we share our love, we connect our souls. Love is our common thread. Don't hold your love in. Let all living beings feel your love that is flowing through you. Which is another thing of, about being you, allowing you to be you with all this. See what I mean about all this love? There's all this heart chakra. There's even hearts there and solar plexus energy. So I'm telling you, this isn't heavy. Usually when this comes up, it's usually a lot of... Uh, deep inner work needed and it's a very uh there's toxicity all over the reading this is all really happy and with this coming up in the first it just makes me think there's just this one thing this one little thing here that has to has to go and you know it and you've already you're probably already in motion it almost looks like you're already in motion with it 
because if you were just at the beginning thinking stages, you would it would be a lot heavier. So it's it just keep going, just keep keep letting that go. Let's see what we got. Happiness, uplifting, happiness, joyful. These are words to live by every day. Spreading happiness uplifts all living beings. Take the effort to spread your joy. Smile when you talk. When we put a smile on our face, no matter what our smile looks like, it is always more beautiful than no smile. It makes others happy too. So see what I mean about all this happy energy? It's just real and i know i created these cards and these really are the happy ones these are like yay joy like lots of joy joy and love you know so i'm actually really liking this even though normally with this it's like oh boy but i am i'm really liking it i think uh i think you're you are already in this phase you're just needing just a little bit of reassurance to see what an amazing outcome it's going to be. What's the last card? Art. Well, I didn't know you were an artist. Hello, artist. You're a songwriter, movie producer, director, uh, screenplay writer, painter, musician, uh, clay potter, whatever you are. Congratulations. Spending all of my working hours involved in art is where my heart and soul is right now. In art, the hand can never execute anything higher than the heart can imagine. Ralph Waldo Emerson. So maybe even an expression you have an artistic expression that you really want to, um, express like just like it said right here with the love and you have all this love and happy energy that you're wanting to express in your art and it's interesting this is actually very similar to th this morning's reading now that I'm thinking about it because it's like uh, you need to uh, it's a different path for your art, most likely. And whatever this is, maybe you need to let go of something that is creating, creating the toxic. You know, maybe it's actually something that you have created that there is some toxic and you realize now you have to let that go, whether that be in your creative expression or not. So very happy loving energy i'm telling you it's this is really lots of solar plexus and heart chakra energy so um it's just um figure out what what the toxic relationship is the behavior the living arrangement the employment whatever this is it's time to let it go okay let's just pull Pull one of my clarifiers and just see if there's some extra messages that my deck that I've had for 20 years, over 20 years actually, in the first 10 years I had this deck, I gave myself a reading with it every day. So I'm very connected with these cards. Uh, they're like my friends, they help me out, and they love working with the mandala cards. They're in the same kind of vibe, so it's, it's really cool, so. What, what final messages do we have for pile number one here? Pile number one, selenite. Pile number one, selenite. Let's put the selenite right here in the center and see what our final, final message is, whatever that is. Oh my goodness, financial flow. Well, hello. Ah! Oh, I love getting this card. She very rarely shows her beautiful light. <laughs> so fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. So here's the deal. You hid that you were an artist for the whole reading. You didn't come out in the beginning. You decided to just like, this is like a hermit card almost. So uh, I can guarantee you figure out what this is, 
and you have massive love, happiness, creativity. You allow it. You can be yourself. And most of all, you have an absolutely fantastic financial outcome. That is just amazing. I'm very happy for you. Okay, pile number one. Wow, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a hard reading to follow up with pile, pile number two. I hope uh, I hope pile number two has such an amazing reading like that. Thank you so much, pile number one. I hope and selenite, which is all about clearing energy. So whatever that letting go is that you're just clear it and move on to that creative expression that's just fantastic i'm very excited <laughs> that financial flow card i'm putting it back in the deck here to give it another chance for my um uh clarifying deck here so i have them all together so let's get right into number two wow that was just amazing that was just amazing okay pile number two we have the rose quartz Rose Quartz, love, 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 lots and lots of love. And what do we have for the first card? Celebrate, yay! What are we celebrating, pile number two? Celebrate you, celebrate the many wonderful accomplishments of you. Celebrate completing that project. Celebrate the steps you are taking to live a healthy lifestyle. Celebrate your patience. Congratulate yourself for doing what you felt like doing rather than what others thought you should do. Celebrate you. Yay. I'll celebrate you. That's an excellent card to get for your first one. I love it. I love it. What's next? Accepting. It is important that we accept all humans and look at one another with love and acceptance. If it is difficult for you to accept someone, Meditate on the spiral mandala, noticing how the colors and designs change. We are all different colors and designs, yet we make up something very beautiful. So, hmm, we might need to get a clarifier on that. I have a feeling I know what's going on, but let's pull one more, um, do your next one, and then we might need a clarifier. Abundance, oh my goodness. Let the abundance flow. There are many ways to experience abundance. Be grateful for everything you have and more abundance will flow. When we appreciate, we attract more. Recognize that abundance comes in many forms other than money. Be open-minded and hearted for the opportunities. So you have the celebrate and abundance card right here. So, the fact that accepting is right there, it makes me feel like you, you have all this amazing, what it looks like maybe success and, uh, or not even success as much as something really cool to celebrate. And, you know, whether it be a relationship or a marriage or a baby, but regardless the abundance is flowing in your life it's like you're in high vibe mode and everything's going well and maybe there's just a little bit of shadow work right here we're gonna i'm gonna actually get a clarifier before i say any more so actually let's bring in the fairies right now for a clarifier this is my if you're just tuning in i said this in the last one this is my uh oracle deck i've had for over 20 years the first 10 years of this deck I uh, gave myself a reading every day. So I'm very connected with these cards. They help me. They're my guides. They help me know I'm on track with my readings. So I'm just like going to pull one here and we're just going to see what's going on. Honoring your true feelings. Okay. All right. All right. You've got some, a little bit of inner work there. That's what I was thinking. Some kind of inner work that not resonating with you in it's kind of it's kind of like a little kink in this in this rainbow like you have this rainbow and then you have this like little kink because you've got this abundance and the celebration and vibrancy and everything so let's pull one more here kind of getting kind of messy with the cards 
Okay, next one. Inner strength. So we've got your true feelings and inner strength. So something, something isn't... Um, it's almost like something isn't jiving with you with this celebration. This celebration in abundance. It's like, um, is it guilt maybe? Some kind of, you have to be strong for something. Let's read and see if you can get something out of that one. Everything you need is within you. The more you are able to go deep within and find your own strength, you will be more empowered to keep going deeper. You will find yourself accomplishing more than you ever dreamed, all due to your inner strength. And your quote is, I have all I need within me and I'm grateful for my inner strength. So I'm going to pull another clarifying card. I'm wondering, um, wondering what this uh, resistance is like. Looks like it's in between you because you've got the honoring your true feelings, the inner strength, and accepting. Is it maybe that you're, um, is it a worthiness? Let's find out. Let's just get one more here. Find out. Self-reliance. Okay. All right. So, obviously, you are in a new stage where this you have created all this and you um it's hard for you to even accept because this is almost like a first time adventure for being on your own um uh, financially or a creative project or whatever it's you did it and you did it on your own and it's almost like it's almost a surreal type feeling that's what it is it's a surreal feeling with all the celebration and abundance and to me it says go ahead and pat yourself on the back because this is um, it's all you it's all you here and you just need to keep strong on the inside and it, it you might be even a little bit scared just because it's so much and so um, magnificent basically let's see what a, the, your fifth card says inspiration let your inspiring ideas flow it is okay that some or even all seem silly one idea turns to the next and that turns into something better and bigger be nice to your inspiring ideas don't put them down be grateful for your imagination how boring this life would be without the ability to create your own world Creating your old world and self-reliance, right, right together. After the inner honoring our inner strength, so you're, um, yes, you, you're, you're on your own here, and you're doing a fantastic job. You're doing very, very well, and it's okay to sit back for a moment and honor your true feelings and be in wow of yourself even you know <clears throat> the celebration card and the abundance card i mean you got it going on seriously and you can see a little bit it's like i did it i'm i'm okay i can do this on my own but it's not like an overwhelming like like joy it's more like oh my gosh you know this is scary but it's so empowering at the same time you know what i'm saying it's so empowering but at the same time it's just what's your last card propel okay so you got inspiration and propel right here this is all about listening to your ideas like this one said um Whatever they, they may seem silly, whatever it is, you need to act on it. There is no question about this. I guarantee this. You have some kind of ideas that you're going to muster up from your inner strength here because you're going within and you're doing all this self-reliance. It's almost like maybe even a, a partnership is splitting and you guys are both going on your own like for like a project or work related not so much as a relationship as much it might be but this is definitely taking action if your last card is all about taking action this isn't oh sit back relax go on vacation and chill 
this is, oh my gosh, look at, you have so much to celebrate. You have to accept and be willing to receive, accepting your, with all this abundance and become strong with your inner strength and, and realize you've done it on your own. You're self-reliant and go ahead and because you're self-reliant, those ideas that may seem silly are really A-OK -okay, and all you need to do is act on them and you're going to be, you're going to be flying high because look at your celebrate card came up right off the bat. It's like, oh yeah, you have something to celebrate. There is no doubt about it. With abundance and celebrate, oh my God, come on, seriously, <laughs> seriously. And then with action, it just means keep it going. Don't let it go because you don't act, then, you know, some of that can fall to the side. So we're going to get one more clarifier, just some final advice. We'll get one mandala card final advice and one of my clarifiers. Moving forward fearlessly. This came up in the last reading. So moving forward, you have you have to keep going. Whatever you're doing, do not stop. You have to keep going based on your inspirational ideas that were based on you alone. You're going to have the abundance. You're going to be able to celebrate. And now it's time to move forward fearlessly and keep moving. Now, I don't even need a clarifier on this one. This is just... Don't stop. Whatever you do, please do not stop because this is very nice. Very nice. You have a lot to celebrate. Pile number two. Pile number two. My goodness, my goodness. So good for you. And I hope that this resonated with you. I would love to hear any stories you have. Just leave them in the comments. Go ahead and hit the like button. And please, please subscribe. I'm trying to get more subscribers. So I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. I um, do a video every day, at least one a day. So I've always got fresh content. So please join me. All my re almost all my readings are general readings. They're timeless. Whenever you click on them, obviously it's when you and the universe were meant to match. So excellent. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do pile number three, which is the Larimar. Put the rose quartz there. Oops, what did I do there? There we go. Okay. Put this here. There we go. And what's your first card? Pile number three. Hello, pile number three. You have Larimar. Have you ever seen Larimar close up? It's like you're looking into the ocean. Isn't that pretty? So beautiful. I love it. Such a peaceful. This is all about peace and calm and loving. Nice calming energy. So I'm curious what your cards are. Why is that not focusing in? Okay. First card. I <laughs> yeah, I can't make this up. Sorry. I can't make this up. Peace. Whatever it is that brings peace to your soul, now is the time to do it. If you are not sure what brings you peace, try different peaceful tools and feel which ones bring about a peaceful feeling. Some ideas are nature walks, gardening, reading, writing, crafts, art. Uh, that's just, uh, I love it. I love it. I love tarot. I love oracle cards. I love crystals. It's just, we're all communicating here. So there is your peace card, folks. Peace. Nice and calm energy right now. This is all, this is the, the precedence of the reading. Peace. So this is higher self. Life is full of colorful options and experiences. Take a chance on following your higher self. When guided a certain way, your inner peace will thank your higher self for the perfection of it all. Be at peace, <laughs> knowing your inner light is shining through and beginning to guide the way. Well, my goodness, it looks like a little bit of a spiritual awakening almost or some kind of, you are just really... Um, I can feel it. It's just um, almost like you just sit there with your hands on your heart and your eyes are closed and you're 
connecting with your higher self and your spirit guides and they're just kind of guiding everything and because you've kind of let go and are guiding that it just it brings about this enormous peace I've had that feeling I know that feeling I know exactly what that is that's a wonderful feeling very happy for you pile number three that's why Laramar's here that's why Laramar came up okay Blossom, just as a lotus flower blooms out of the murky water, so too can our spirits blossom from the depth, depth of our heart of our fears. The day came. This is the quote. The day came when the risk to remain tight in the bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. Aeneas Nin. So. This almost looks like a spiritual awakening, pile number three. It looks like you've been kind of in the dark about something and through some very peaceful uh, transitions and some peaceful connections that you've made, you actually are kind of like on the upside. Like it, it was like you were all foggy and and it was all just kind of plain and murky. And then due to the, all this beautiful peace and connection to higher self, you've just blossomed into it's all it is. This is like a spiritual awakening, I think. I'm going to keep going with number the fourth card. I just want to keep going here. Freedom. There is freedom in living the life that you were meant to live. Whatever it takes to feel that freedom, make a step in that direction. We were not meant to be bound to our jobs or our city. We were meant to live life to the fullest by embracing the challenges with the achievements. Being free to explore. Feeling freedom. So um, there does seem to be some uh, throat chakra energy here. So I feel like there's some a lot of communication. So with all this, this is all throat chakra. So I'm thinking that you are just have this new connection to the spiritual realm and the higher the higher dimensions and because of that you're blossom you feel this you blossom and you have this absolute feeling of freedom and peace this is absolutely beautiful reading i mean this is like i just Picture you like soaring in the sky, like, oh my gosh, I've just discovered how beautiful I am and my my world is and how beautiful this whole universe is. It's like, it's, I, I got to see your other cards. I'm very curious here. Fall. Seasons change. Imagine yourself like a leaf falling from a tree in fall. There are times we need to let our worries fall in order to make space for our positive experiences. Once we let it all fall, we are bare and free. See, free. It's like each card go, um, continues with the next one, the one before it. Where cares will drop like the autumn leaves by John Muir. So um, it's not, you're not really worried. It's just such a huge experience. This whole new connection to a higher realm and the peaceful it's like you've found the the secret like the you know like some special thing that you're just now in this absolute bliss and you know i don't know it i am you know this is being filmed within a couple days of the first day of fall so i'm you know i don't know if that has anything to do with it but um, if it, if it's not on that realm, it's at least, it can at least tell you that it's going to happen in the fall because this card really does represent fall for me. Like, and I created this deck. So, but it also can mean that you have something that you need to just slightly let go. I actually, <laughs> my instincts are telling me that this is like an actual time period for this this isn't i think this is all happening right now i i really do i actually don't even feel like you have 
necessarily something to let go. Let's find out what the other card is. This is so beautiful. Clarity. Okay. Seeing clearly can be challenging when there are many obstacles in the way. The more, the more we look at the obstacles, the more overwhelming things can be. Focus your attention on the center of this mandala. Notice the obstacles are not preventing you from clarity when you come to center. Okay, so there is something you need to... Um, it's something small, but it, you need to let it go because if you can see all this beautiful... Well, just look at how the spread is. Look at all this beautiful blue communication throat chakra type energy. See all that? And then you see this. And it's fall. And it's um, grounding colors and grounding energy. So it's almost like um, it can kind of bring that down. Almost like it's a tree. You know what I mean? Just bring, bring in the grounding let go of anything that is going to keep you from the clarity. It looks like there's um, something small where you need a little more focus. Like maybe, and since you need more focus and the fall is here, it makes me think that this is such a high blissful state right here that it, it is, it's needed right now. Right now is our, we're in fall and it's needed for grounding. Because this clarity is, it's, you're like in the bliss. And so there's some things you're not going to be able to see if you're not grounded. So let's just, actually, let me, I'm going to pull my uh, crystal cards here just a second. Because this is going to help, this is going to help the, where'd they go? Here they are. Let's just do the crystal cards real quick here. Let me just do a couple shuffles and... Crystal cards, we need your help here. We're trying to figure out what this fall card is. Can we please have some clarity with this mandala reading? We've brought in all the crystals. We have chakra wand and lots of selenite here. And we're doing pile number three for Laramar. And we're trying to get some clarity here on the fall card. So these are two-sided. So I usually just close my eyes and pick one because, you know, I... I know a lot of them, so I don't want to look and have it, you know, altered in any way. So I'm just going to keep going here and just until I feel like it's, you know, really the time. Sometimes this can take a while, so let me just, I want to make sure that it's right. So I feel like that one, let me open my eyes. I feel like that just kept when I was trying to get it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's Petalite. Oh, wow. This is, it's this high, high spiritual, well, it says right here, angelic, uplifting, harmony. This, okay, I have a little piece of petalite that looks like a little tiny heart. It's like half the size of my pinky. No, it's actually the size of my pinky nail. This is my most angelic crystal that I have. And I only, I actually keep it in, uh, protected and wrapped. And then I only bring it out when I need to reach that high, highest state. And it is, I am in that blissful, angelic state. So let's see what it says. Drawing this card signifies your psychic or spiritual work will develop more quickly. Be open to spiritual or angelic messages. See... This is what it is. So maybe you're getting a lot, since this was the clarifier on the fall. This is just a very beautiful reading. I'm a little thrown off here, so let me just, I can, I'm sweating really bad. This is, I can tell the spirit is here. So it's, what this is, is I think you're almost a little bit uncomfortable with the messages because they're coming so clearly to you. This is such a powerful connection that and like I said before like like look at the colors here and look at how this is right here this is like our kind of our obstacle but really it's it's a little bit of we need the grounding because this is such a high spiritual connection that I'm gonna pull one more I don't want to say anything. Let me just pull one more. I'm going to actually, I'm going to do my clarifying cards over here. 
because I feel like you need to just keep on your journey and and keep going with this peaceful way about you. It's almost like it's a lifestyle. And there's something that I feel like you need some grounding, actually. I really do. So I'm surprised a grounding card didn't come up. So the fact that it's still all the angelic is still coming up makes me think that it actually has to go into your work or something. Financial flow. Oh my goodness, this was the card from the last reading. This, this spirit is all around. And look at the blue and everything. Okay. Okay. So now we know. You, this is incredibly beautiful. And because of this experience, either you've done the work or it just like happened with a, a massive one-time awakening, but you now actually know and have the tools to be able to share this with spiritual work. Because why else would you be have the financial flow card coming in when it is all about spirit. I mean, seriously, this is, this is your calling. This is totally your calling. There is no doubt about it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not. Sometimes I leave it open for interpretation for you, but there is absolutely no doubt in my mind what is going on here. I've just been a little thrown off with the fall card and I think it's more of a grounding issue. I am I don't normally do this, but I'm going to pull in my liquid crystal deck because if grounding is needed, it's going to come up through these cards. These are always shuffled because I use them a lot. So I'm going to just do a couple little shuffles here and we're going to just pull one more crystal just so I can get an overall view. But I'm pretty sure I know what's going on. And if it's cards aren't saying you need grounding, you don't need grounding. There's just something... Something that's holding you back here, and maybe you feel a little strange about benefiting financially from this because it is so beautiful and spiritual. Maybe you're like, I don't know, how do how can, I can't make money on that, but obviously that's what you're being called to do. Okay, Charite, and this is my magic. I wear this every day in my bra. This is my magic stone. This is what I use for my connection to higher. Um, what's this say? Individualization is what the card says. But this is what I keep on me. This is what I use. I I just call it my magic stone. So I've actually never seen that anywhere, but I can completely relate to this. And you have an incredible, beautiful spiritual experience right before you. Um, it's very, very beautiful. And whether you're going to write about it, whether you're going to do a video about it or what, Ever it is, it uh, we need to hear it because, I mean, it almost brought me to, well, I think it did bring me to tears because this is just like, people don't experience this. Like, this isn't an everyday experience right here, especially with this. This is like, it's unbelievable. It really is. <laughs> this is absolutely so beautiful. And I'm going to go because I'm actually getting choked up. I'm very, uh, very happy for you. This is, um, please let me know how it goes. Peace out. Hey, don't forget to hit subscribe and like and watch my reading again tomorrow. Thank you.